hopefully you guys are doing well. Uh, hopefully Santa got you everything you wanted. Um, we unfortunately missed out on another condo. We didn't get approved for financing, unfortunately, you know. Um, that's okay. In our last video, we uh, <clears throat> left you... Uh, with information that we've been making offers um, in Calgary and um, the first one we dodged a bullet which could have been like a $46,000 debt that we could have had to pile onto our mortgage unexpectedly because of a lien on a building under that unit and this time for some reason um, we didn't get financing for the other unit for whatever reason and um, we really love that unit and we could see ourselves there and and how easy it is to let go um, of a property where we could have, you know, taken a huge hit financially, how easy it is to walk, to walk away from that and how difficult it is to walk away from a unit when you're just like, oh, we love it so much. You know, we all know within ourselves when we, we get these big ideas and desires and they start becoming more and more concrete in our mind and and we see them manifesting and and we think that oh my god this is totally god's will and then on the you know the ninth hour all of a sudden things collapse and you're left with that place of disappointment and um, you know your expectations hadn't been met and you want to do everything you can in your willpower to to make that pain and frustration and disappointment just fade away you know um you know instead of going to a place of thinking oh my god i'm so lucky to be in a position to even be writing uh, on a property you know to have the down payment with my partner for a place you know right before uh, our daughter comes into this world you know you, you or or my God, you know, if this isn't God's will, you know, he's probably saving us for something even more spectacular that I can't even anticipate. And, and that's been my experience over the years too, right? When I'm, when I'm capable of letting go, remarkable things come into my life, right? When I'm in that flow and harmony of life. And, you know, my, my self-will is still very powerful though. And, and, you know, unfortunately this time, you know, went from a place of disappointment with one unit and, and thanksgiving and to a disappointment on, on another unit and almost like an insecure disappointment frustration right and and being connected with a lot of long timers who have uh 30 years or more right and, and they all uh, regurgitate the same sort of thing when it comes to uh, their experience with letting go and things being brought into their life without sort of their their willpower really having anything to do with it. You know, it's more of them being at a place of sitting themselves up for a nice, healthy openness, right? That allows them to be in harmony with the world and God. And, and you know, for me, I've, I've been walking this path, um, you know, for over a decade now. And it's funny to still watch myself participating in old behaviors uh, of grabbing hold of things and, and, and wanting to be at a place of, of control. And um, there's nothing wrong with having ambition, but when you're at a place where you're, you're gripping so, so firmly on something that you want, and obviously God or the universe, whatever you want to call it, is, is not at a place of, of aligning with you on, on that decision. You know, there's tremendous resistance. And that's what we faced. And, and, um, I wasn't really willing to let go. And as a result, you know, the only thing that came about was um, an internal disruption, uh, unhappiness, dissatisfaction, uneasy feelings, you know. And, and I, I don't want that in my life, you know. That's just, that's not why I do this recovery stuff. I, I don't like being that miserable person who, who just doesn't take the time to be in a place of appreciation for all the things that I do have when I'm caught up in the storm of the sky is falling and poor me, right? And, and when, I, when I've had some space away from it, I, I can look back and reflect and, and see how I could have improved or asked for help or, you know, as it says in 
how it works. It says, let go, absolutely. And um, yeah, so maybe maybe right now, the, the way that my life and my partner's life is, is we need to set aside all our desires um, and just open ourselves up to what could be coming our way, right? We could still be the place moving to a different city as we'd like to. Um, from Victoria, BC, uh, maybe to Calgary, maybe back to Vancouver, uh, maybe somewhere we don't even, you know, have on our radar, which could be really exciting. But but I think the focal point right now is for this little baby that's coming into the world and and just counting our blessings. So that's the update so far, guys, and that's where we're at. Didn't want to leave you hanging on the out of the unit. Um, no other things to report. Uh, yeah, I, I wish you guys a wonderful week, a wonderful weekend, I guess, as we're coming up to the end of the week, and, um, wish you harmony on whatever you're trying to toil with or chase after. You know, just let it go. It's not worth it. What's yours will come. What is supposed to be in your life will come. Get yourself, get yourself in alignment. Get yourself in alignment, please. Do it. Have a wonderful week. As always, you're loved. You're worth it.